Okay, so real quick, this is the piston that came out of that hole and that spot right there, you can see what happened. What's up guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today we're working on the all aluminum small block Chevrolet 409 cubic inches bad to the bone motor. Let me show you what we're doing tonight to get it ready to go back together. Comment, like, and subscribe. Appreciate it guys. All right guys, so night number two working on this thing. Brodix block, all aluminum, is lightweight. It is the super lightweight version. But what we're going to do today, uh, we got a very home. We're going to hone it. Uh, if you're just joining, if this is your first time seeing any of our videos, it ended up dropping a valve seat. And so we got some damage. That was last year, finally getting it back together. It looks like it is grooved. This is a, a CNC profiled deck. Uh, TKM, you cannot feel this any at all. There is no touch texture there any at all. But what they do is when they CNC profile this deck, uh, basically you've got these uh, sleeves, aluminum blocks, steel sleeves. They set the sleeves down in the hole and then they have a CNC program and they go in and they deck around the sleeve. So essentially what happens is the sleeve is protruding just a little bit. Now we run copper gaskets, Clark copper gaskets, top fuel hoops. So basically what top fuel hoops are, big O-rings essentially. The ring is in the head. It's a big O-ring, uh, but it's made out of stainless steel, all one piece, no wire, like a traditional O-ring. And that is in the head. And then you put your copper gasket on it, it protrudes down. And then it goes in to this groove that is cut into the sleeve. Let me see if I can get a good angle on it. It is so hard to see this on camera, but that thing is probably 50 thousandths wide, maybe 60 thousandths. You know, I can let's get it down in the groove and these are separated. This groove is about, uh, about 80 thousandths thick there. So it is, Pretty, pretty good thickness, 80, 85, yeah, somewhere in that range, 80 to 85. It's hard to do it and hold the camera. So for the depth of it, let's see what we got here. Stick it down in there and push it down. 35-ish, 35, 40 thousandths deep. So that is the width of the receiver groove. Just a lot bigger than an O-ring. And so it really, the way it deforms the gasket is crazy and it really seals really good. Let me show you how it deforms the gasket, hang on. All right, so here's the gasket. Uh, Clark head gaskets, uh, I think these are 70 or 80 thousandths. And you see they're bent a little bit because these top fuel hoops, they literally, you have to peel the gaskets out of the block. And you can see they are definitely not blowed. And you can see that it just really pushes down in there. There again, it's kind of hard to see on on the camera here, but when you turn it over, so this is the part that goes down. What we're gonna do, we're gonna bury home this thing to get it ready to assemble. Let me show you what we're doing there. So you say, what is a bury home? What is a dingle bear, bury home? Flex home, uh, snap on tools is, uh, that's your part numbers and stuff. I don't know if you can get it anywhere else or not, but uh, it's real easy. All it is is gritted balls. And so the bury home, that's all it is right there. It's a, it's a bury, it's dingleberry. It's grit, and basically, you just put this thing on a drill, and you jam it down in there while it's spinning with WD-40, and you can kind of count your strokes, and, and that's how you knock the glaze off. This cylinder over here is the one that we messed up, and you see how it's shiny. So I can feel it a little bit. Um, we're going to see if we can knock the glaze off of it and knock it down enough to where we don't have to take this to the machine shop. Uh, we'll see. Uh, if it feels like it is in bad shape, then we'll take it to a machine shop, put a new sleeve in it, and then have it new, uh, new groove cut in it here. Okay, hang on, let me show you. All right, so we're just gonna show you how quick this is. It's pretty easy, uh, not too difficult. It is exactly what, what it sounds like. You take this, put it on the end of the drill, and spin it, and you know you can spin it at whatever RPM you want to, where it's consistent. I'm gonna slow it down to number one, and you load it up with WD-40 is what we do. Uh, some people may use brake clean. There may be a couple different ways to do it. Uh, one thing you want to do, so obviously this spin is very easy. Right now, this throw is up. So we don't want that. So we want to spin it so that that's all the way on the opposite side. And this is not going to make a tremendous mess. 
but it is going to make um, a little bit of a mess. And so, you know, obviously the, the crank is still in. I mean, I could, I could put some uh, stuff on that to make it um, some uh, paper towels down there, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, so you just shove it in there and then start spinning it up and down. And I usually count the number of strokes. So down, up, down, up, and just do it, you know, 10 or 15, 20, whatever you think is good. a nice little we'll go ahead and do them all uh, I was kind of hitting the crank there and it was binding up my, my, my berries and I'm doing about 20 strokes and this is gonna be the one that is gonna, gonna matter right here Size. Then we'll, we'll wipe it down and show you what we got. So now, let me show you what we got. Let me get some paper towels. The surface, the difference in the surface. And see, it's, I mean, that's obviously mostly the dingleberries. But it also probably is some metal, but I'll show you in a minute while we can see that. Now, is this something that you want to do all the time? Uh, I mean, this one's a 4.165. Uh, we could have it bored out. I think you could probably go to 185 on this one pretty safe. But I mean, 4185 is is a lot. So I don't know if you know that's real good. You lose uh, thickness on the sleeves. This one, this this one is, is still there a little bit. We're gonna run another, we're gonna do it another time on this one. Let's see if we can get it completely clear. Let me show you what we got now. It is not bad. I mean, these other ones cleaned up really nice. And remember, as we hit, hit it with this hone, it's going to, I mean, we're making it slightly bigger every time let me show you so look at the walls down in there now so got nice cross hatch um you know the sheen is gone the rings are going to seal really good on that one um this is the one that was the problem and i can still feel it slightly but you can see the cross hatches on that too so we're definitely hitting it um and it was just aluminum that was wearing it so let's, let me run it down through there again and see what we got. Hang on. Okay, so the battery went dead. So I've got the battery charging in there, but uh, I have now cleaned these out really good and I have sprayed it with WD-40. And you can see most of that is now gone. You can't really feel anything at all. And it is obviously not as good as over here, but it will be fine for what I'm going to do. So very happy with the way that turned out. Uh, I got these two over here done as well. And I want to show you the difference in the cylinders. See, we got this little bit of rust. Remember, methanol is rough on stuff and the condensation and moisture and all of them kind of look like that. But you can see the berry hone, it does make it a lot better. You can see a little bit there where it's a little deep, but it's okay. That's gonna be just fine. Right there's got a little bit there too but yeah it's not terrible uh i have run much worse okay so real quick this is the piston that came out of that hole and that spot right there you can see what happened a chunk of the valve seat uh compressed the the ring there kind of pushed the ring down messed the piston up but it kind of put bowed the aluminum out is what happened 
And so that's why it got uh, really distorted. And that's why the rest of the bore is actually in pretty good shape. Even up there, you can't really see that up on that side. So that is the piston that uh, we tore up that got messed up. And yeah, so that's what it did. That damaged piston come out of that hole. And when you look at it, that's the only damage we got. It's right there, so it's okay. So yeah, so this is how you bury hone an engine uh, in your garage. Uh, hone it out, make it make it better. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's going to be fine. I think it will be. We'll have this thing back together soon. This aluminum small block Chevrolet makes good power. Appreciate it, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe. See you.